YouTube, what's going on? It's your girl, Spiritual Sag. And baby, what is going on with my collective, okay? So, listen, there's a message that you guys must hear. If you don't listen to nothing else I have ever said, you need to listen to this message, okay? Don't tie your hands. Do not tie your hands, all right? I want you guys to listen to this story right quick. This is just a little small, simple story, okay? Um, I'm going to dedicate this, this video to my brother. He's a cancer. So all my cancers out there, okay? So, there was a little boy. He was pulling this old man who was sitting on the horse. And they were going through town, and everybody was talking about it and looking at him. Said, oh, that's a damn shame. And then on the way back, the old man was pulling the little boy. And everybody was talking about it, saying, look at that, that's a damn shame. That's the story. 111 on the phone as I speak. So, regardless of what you do, people gonna talk. People gonna talk, okay? Do not tie your hands. All right, I need y'all to really understand. This is going to resonate different for everybody. But don't tie your hands. Don't block your blessings. Because people are going to talk regardless. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light, I ask that you come in and allow me to channel the energy surrounding my collective. Please and thank you, Spirit. Archangel Michael, I ask that you place a seal of protection around me and my collective. Please and thank you. Alright, so these... I choose to be grateful today. I choose to be grateful today. Some of you guys have a lot to be grateful for. And so choose to be grateful. Don't focus. Anything that's going on outside of you, it ain't none of your business. Don't worry about what other people think and what they say, okay? Just know, don't tie your hands. I really need a lot of people to understand that part. Don't tie your hands. Focus on what matters. Focus on positive progress, okay? Hermit. Some of you guys need to go in hermit mode. Some of you guys are already in hermit mode. If you in hermit mode, don't focus on... Listen, baby. I'm hearing that song by uh, Lil Wayne and Robin Thicke. Tie my hands. Y'all go listen to it. It's a very powerful song. All right, Divine Holy Spirit, what's going on? King of Cups. King of Cups and the Eight of Cups. Okay. What does Spirit? Page of Pentacles. Empress. So I'm dealing with an empress. Empress, don't tie your hands, okay? It's time to take action. Give birth to your dreams, your creative projects, because you will be very successful, okay? Abundant and prosperous. You need to know that. Walk away from anything that is no longer serving you with this Eight of Cups, okay? I'm getting... Somebody needs to have thick skin. You're needing to learn something new with this Page of Pentacles. You're needing to, to learn. Because the King of Cups is someone who has a lot of love and emotion, right? They are uh, emotionally mature. They know exactly how they feel. But they don't wear their heart on their sleeve. Okay? And so that's what you're needing to learn. To get some thick skin. All right? Because whatever this is that you're going... But whatever dream this is or creative project, you're going to need thick skin for this, okay? And Spirit says it's time to take action. You're going to be very successful, period, point blank. Bottom of the deck. Six of swords. Moving forward towards balance, okay? But this is also someone who was guided. You were guided to move forward on this gift that you had, 
right? Yes. King of Wands, take action. With the Queen of Swords, cut out the shit that is no longer serving you. And I really feel like you're going to end up being this King of Pentacles. And that's just on period. Anybody that is not supporting what you say, they're coming from a lack mentality. And you don't even need to worry about it. You don't even need to worry about what other people got going on. The message is for you not to tie your hands. Don't block your blessings. You are an empress. There's something that you're sitting on and you're needing to take action. You're needing to take action. Walk away from whatever is no longer serving you. People who don't support you, who don't believe in your gift that you have. Or this passionate idea, this creative-ass project, people don't believe in it. You need to walk away from them. Right? And if you got chatter going on around you, like the little story that I said in the beginning, you're going to have to cut that energy out. Okay? Because I feel like I'm, I'm dealing with somebody who has went through a lot of changes. I see this butterfly. Okay? You went through a lot of changes. Obviously, in order for you to be an empress, the empress is all four of the queens of the deck, okay? So you've went through a whole hell of a lot. A whole hell of a lot. I feel like what you're about to get into, you are very deserving of this energy, okay? And that's why Spirit is saying, don't tie your hands. You are deserving of this. And it's not time for you to take action. Some of you guys could be a leader because the King of Wands is a very uh, passionate leader, motivational speaker, this is a leadership role that you're stepping into. Some of you guys are stepping into the, the spotlight, public speaking. And so Spirit says, keep your eyes on the big picture. Communicate your vision. Don't be sensitive to criticism. I know it. You got to get some thick skin. Whoever this is, you got to get some thicker skin. And that's what you're going to have to learn to do. Because whoever I'm talking to, if you're an empress, you love. And you love from a pure space and you love unconditionally. Well, this, this gift that you're stepping into... Um, with this public speaking, listen, when you have a public platform, you're open to all kind of criticism. People watching you and they always judging and you're going to have to get some thick skin around it, okay? Because you have been guided. You have been guided to do this. Hmm. Okay. King of Pentacles is the outcome. You're going to be very accomplished. Okay, you're going to be grounded. This is time for great success, financial security, and prosperity. Period. Right. I love that story that my brother told me about the, the old man and the little boy on the horse. I was like, wow. Because I'm like, where is he going with this story? And it was so small. I'm like, what is he talking about? He was like, see, baby sister, don't matter how you flip the story. People was talking about it regardless. And that is so true. Regardless of what you do, people going to talk. And I feel like some of you guys are really about to get into the spotlight. And so Spirit is preparing you. That's why you got to learn something new with this Page of Pentacles. You're going to have to learn to have thick, 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 thick skin. Allow these people's thoughts and perception of you to roll off your motherfucking shoulders. I'm talking about for real. Spirit says whatever goes on outside of you, how people feel about you and what they think, it's none of your business. Okay? You are divine. This is an empress. This is telling me you are a divine being. And y'all know anybody that messes with the divine, they have to answer to the most high God for that. So you definitely don't need to worry about what these folks got going on. And do not allow anyone to make you doubt yourself. Okay? Let's see what this is. Look, really, six of wands, public recognition, okay? And then with this three of pentacles, what I'm getting with this three of pentacles for you guys is you working with the most high God, your spirit guides, and yourself. That's that three of pentacles. Some of you guys could be collaborating with physical beings, but this is a spiritual collaboration right here. And you're going to be very victorious. And you are going to get a lot of public recognition. And so Spirit needs you to know you're going to have to cut out the shit that is no longer serving you. Let these people's thoughts and opinions. What they say everybody with an asshole got an opinion. Let that shit roll off your shoulder. You're a magician. Right? You are a magician. And I knew it. These people are watching you. You're going to have a lot of people watching you. you could, somebody's in the public um, light. You definitely could be a public speaker. I see it right here on this card. Okay, but you need to keep pressing forward. Keep your eyes focused on the big picture. Or as my brother say, fuck with what matters. <laughs> I love my brother. Fuck with what matters. I mean, everything else, ain't none of your business, none of your concern. 
you're a magician, an empress, okay? You're about to manifest something amazing. And you're, got, you're about to get a lot of recognition for this. I'm talking about for real. I see you do have protection. I see you have protection here. But you do have a couple of people that's hating. I see it. But, like Spirit says, it's not for you to worry about, okay? At the end of the day, the Most High God has the final say. All right, Spirit, what's going on? Please and thank you, Spirit. What does my collective need to see with this energy? Listen, don't let these people block your blessings. Do not let these people... Somebody's letting somebody stop their blessing. Why? Don't do that. Oh, my God. That's right. Put an end into what these folks think. You are really about, somebody really about to let, and ooh, child, with judgment. These people, like I just said, you're an empress. You cannot mess with a divine being, okay? These souls will have to stand before the most high God. It is not for you to worry about. Don't let these people stop your blessings. This ace of cup is the most high God showing favor over your life. Don't let nobody stop what you got going on. Spirit say you need to cut that shit out. You've went through this growth period. That butterfly, you have ascended. You have went through your spiritual awakening. You went through your dark night of the soul. You've healed a lot of things. You've learned a lot of things. And you still, there's more you have to learn. And what that is with this page of pinnacles is learning to get thick skin. Some of you are a scholar. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Some of you guys are getting uh, promotions. I'm telling you. If this is your time, whoever this is I'm talking to, this is your time. Do not let any external factors stop you from your calling. This is a calling because the Empress is right here. This is a calling, okay? Like I said, this is a very spiritual collaboration. Don't let nobody stop you. It's King Energy all up in here. Okay? King of Cups, King of Pentacles, King of Wands with the Empress. Uh, Six of Swords. You're being guided forward to do this. Somebody getting a lot of spotlight. Okay. What else, Spirit? Two, uh, yeah. Stop. So, that's what Spirit is saying. Stop saying guessing yourself. Because in the upright, this is should I do or should I not? Was that right? Was that... It's coming up in reverse. You got to stop. And it landed right here on top of the king of one. Stop second guessing yourself and take action on what you know to be true because you're the magician. You have everything you need to manifest the life that you want or to put this creative ass idea or passions or spiritual calling into action. I'm telling you. So if, even if you haven't started doing this, people are watching you already. Like the story, they're going to talk, they're going to watch regardless. So why would you stop what you got going on? There it is right there. You need to be confident in yourself. The Queen of Wands is very confident. She doesn't second guess herself. She's very passionate about her life and her purpose. This is the energy that you need to get in. And for those of you who are in it, that's good because you're going to conquer this. You're going to conquer this. Whatever this spiritual gift is, stand in your power. Stand in your truth. You have unconditional love surrounding you. You have angels protecting you. So you don't really, you ain't got nothing to worry about. There you go. There's the angels protecting you with these seven of wands. They defending your every move. Okay? This is what you need to know. If you have not stepped into this, you need to. Like I said, you have been through your dark night of the soul. You've been through your spiritual awakening, death and transformation, where there's an ending. See the sun back there? There's a brand new beginning. This is your time. This empress has been through hell and bad. This is your time. Whoever this is I'm talking to, you need to stand in your power and put an end to these people that's backstabbing and portraying you for your forward movement. Some of you guys really are public speakers, okay? And this was a blessing. This, was, this gift that you have, this ability... To when you open your mouth and speak, you have a lot of people that pay attention to you. Because I see it right here with the Six of Wands. This is a gift. Straight from the hand of the Most High God. How dare you allow anybody to stop your blessing? Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, don't do it. There's nothing but goodness and, and 
destiny written all over this reading. Some of you guys are very intuitive. High priestess energy I'm feeling with this reading. Some of you guys could be a high priestess, okay? I see the, with this Six of Pentacles, I'm getting the, the knowledge or the messages that you put out. Whatever this public speaking is for you, it brings balance to other people's lives, okay? Whatever this is that you are feeding the public, it brings balance. Hmm. Wow. Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race. This is what you guys must realize. Slow and steady wins the race. And so quite naturally, listen. <laughs> Seven of Swords. But what I feel with this is someone lying to themselves. Someone psyching themselves out of their own blessing, out of their own calling. Right? Don't do it. I see 1555 on the phone. I feel like if you were, it's going to stop. If you were second-guessing yourself, it's too much king energy out here. With this empress, you, how are you going to listen? You know what you've been through. You and the Most High God know what you've been through. Like I said, this energy that you're stepping into, this is not just something you just, oh, I'm just going to go out here and do this. This is something that you have earned. Like you, this is well-deserved. These are blessings. These are gifts straight from the Most High God. When the Most High God says yes, who can say no? Get that thick, thick skin. And whoever this is, I understand what you're going through. I did a live earlier today. And we were talking about, you know, our spiritual gifts. And I said, because I feel that I am a medium because of all of the spirits that come to me. I said, I'm still second guessing myself. You know, can I do this? Do I have the ability to do this? So whoever this is, I understand where you're coming from. But spirit says you need to put an end to that with the Ten of Swords. You need to put an end into it because it's just stopping you. It's holding you back from your true calling. You are an empress with this magician. Empress, magician, queen of cups. I really feel like I'm dealing with a high priest. Is someone who has hidden knowledge. And so there's a purpose. Like you have to get, you have to do this. You have been called to do this. So like I said, the, the messages or whatever this is that you're speaking to the public, it brings these people's soul Balance. It brings balance to their soul on a soul level. It creates forward movement for people. It gives clarity to people. You have to do this. The reason I know you have to do this, some of you guys have been prepared just for this. When you went through this death and rebirth. Because like I said, on, I saw that butterfly on this sword. You went through the dark night of the soul. You went through your spiritual awakening. Your ascension. You were being groomed. You were being prepared for this energy, okay? And your spirit guides are protecting you. And this is what you need to know. Whoever this is I'm talking to, okay? Stop. Put an end to the second guessing. And that's just period. You're going to have this energy, okay? You can have people trying to get in your ear and make you doubt yourself, calling you liars, saying you fake, whatever. It's not for you to worry about. You know who you are. Um, my brother told me earlier, he was like, baby sister, you know who you are when you go to bed? You know who you are when you wake up? Man, fuck with what matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm my brother fool. He funny as hell too, but what I see with this three of wands, I see someone standing in their power. They got their feet uh, planted firmly on the ground. And they're speaking this knowledge into people. And turning their back to the bullshit. Cutting out what no longer serves them. Right? Awaiting. I feel like you speak these messages and, and you messages out to people and awaiting your results. Right? People could. So, say for instance, you do something like I do. And with this energy. You speak your messages out and then you await for communication from these people. Telling you how balanced the information was, how it fed their soul. This is what I see, okay? And so for some of you guys, this is your calling. You have been prepared for this. Do not second guess this, okay? You will be victorious. You will be victorious. And you know this, you're psychic. You're very intuitive. So you need to trust the messages that you receive from your spirit guides, okay? This is a, a blessing, a gift. That was given to you and not many received this Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like you received this because you went on your spiritual path. 
That's this death, the dark night of the soul. Okay? Don't, oof, baby. Okay, so you you guys, you, you, you have to know, okay? I'm up here in the public eye, so I know when you put yourself out there, people have free reign to think and say whatever they think and going to feel, but that's not for you to worry about, okay? It's just this energy right here. Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Eight of Wands. You get up here and you speak your messages because this is a public speaker. It says it right here. Someone who has stepped into a leadership role. Someone who's in the spotlight, public speaking, okay? Communicating their vision. You, so whoever this is, you have the ability to communicate what other people cannot see. High, high priestess type shit. The things that you vision, you have this ability. I could be talking to a Gemini because they're really good at communication. You have a way of putting this information out there and allowing people to receive the messages. That's why this gift was given to you. That's why you had to go through so much. You were being prepared for this. You are an empress with that magician energy. And you don't ever need to forget that. And don't let nobody else make you feel bad for it. Like I said, it was given to you because you went on that path. And this path, you was on that path by yourself. Wasn't nobody else with you. What do I know I'm going to say? They weren't with you while you were shooting in the gym. These folk weren't practicing with you. Did they do that death and rebirth with you? No. So don't allow these people to take your energy from you. Like I said, you get up there and you speak your messages. You speak your messages and you await. Because you guys know that three... Of ones is awaiting energy, waiting on your ships to come in. You get up here, you speak your messages, and you wait for communication to come in. This is communication through the airwaves, right? Um, this could be emails, text messages, phone calls. You will wait for people to tell you how this message affected their soul, gave them justice, gave them clarity, balanced them out. That's all you need to worry about. As long as you're helping and you're in your, you're in your calling, I see it. You're in your calling. So you got to know you're going to get this right here. Some of you are scared of getting this public recognition, but that's just your, it's your calling. Spirit says you got to learn something new. And that learning something new, okay, because whoever this is is very intelligent. They have a lot of knowledge, a lot of hidden knowledge also. But the thing that you're needing to learn new with this page of Pentacles is to get thick skin. You got to get some thick skin with this, okay? So let's see if there's any last messages spirit might have for you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, spirit, is there any messages you have for the collective? Congratulations to whoever this is, okay? It take a lot of balls to get up there. Oh, wow. Trust the divine has a plan. Trust. I'm telling you. And expect the wondrous to emerge. This is that abundant energy. When you step in your calling and you get on this path and put your trust in the most high God and let the rest of that shit go out the window, abundance. I tell y'all all the time, there's reward in being obedient. Miracles. Okay? Wow. That, another card with the path. Only you walk this path. Only you're able to do this. Whoever this is I'm talking to. It ain't a whole bunch of people out there. Your soul has been prepared. This is someone who has an old soul. You, you ain't got to be but 20. But your soul has been here so many times. You have so much wisdom. I just said that with the page of Pentacles. Because you do. This person has a lot of wisdom. They're very intellectual. And the way they speak, they have the ability to have to, to reach people's soul on a soul level. That's why you were called to do this job. Okay? This is your spiritual calling. Trust that the divine has a plan. When the Most High God says yes, no one can say no. Okay? No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And that's just period. And a lot of you are in unknown territory. You are, okay? Wow. But the Most High God says you're exactly where you need to be. Look at that. You're exactly where you need to be. 
I love this message. This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm to my for real. Wow. Y'all let me know at the bottom of the, in the comment section what this is y'all doing. I really feel like this is a public speaker, okay? That's what the cards say. But what is this? What is this that you guys are doing? Whatever it is, it's a, it's a calling. It's your spiritual calling. Because this is, this is an empress. Period. Don't let nobody let you doubt, make you doubt yourself. Okay? People want... By the time you get to this energy, you're vibrating so high. There's a lot of light around you. And so you're going to attract narcissist people. Oh, yes. Especially at Queen of Cups. You're going to um, attract a bunch of narcissistic ass people. You're going to attract a bunch of insecure people. Um, <clears throat> you're going to be triggering people who are insecure. And that's why Spirit says you have to get in this Eight of Cups, Queen of Swords energy. Walk away from these these things that are no longer serving you, they don't vibrate where you vibrate anyway. That Those are the energies that are watching you, talking shit, trying to make you doubt yourself. Cut it out. Walk away from it. Don't even think about it. Don't dwell in this, okay? Learn to get you some thick skin and keep pressing forward. Taking action. Taking action on your soul's calling. This is a calling right here. This is not, oh, I'm just deciding to do this. Your soul has been groomed for this. You have been prepared for this your whole life. Okay? It's your girl, Spiritual Sad, and that's what I got for y'all. I hope this resonates with a lot because I want, I want everybody to be able to be in their calling because that's a sense of peace that you ain't going to, you probably have never experienced before. When your soul is actually doing what they were here to do, your soul going to be happy with you. Period. So I really, I really do hope that this resonates with a lot of people. Okay? Because that will let me know that everybody is in their calling. And if you haven't gotten in your calling, you need to take action. Uh, my live earlier, we were talking about finding out what your north node is. You need to find out what your north node is and what house it's in. You can go to um, look up your birth chart on cafeastrology.com. It's absolutely free. Once you find that out, you need to do some more searching, some more digging, and also talk to your spirit guides, right? Um, but whoever this is, you already know your calling. You already know your calling. Some of you are already in it. Some of you are needing to take action to get in it. But the this reading, y'all are already in it, okay? And spirit is telling you, you're going to have to develop a thicker skin. Continue to press forward. Develop thick skin, but you're helping a lot of people and you're getting a lot of success. And this is your calling. The Most High God is showing favor over your life. That's what you need to know. You need to trust that the divine has a plan. And the wondrous universe is going to emerge. That's abundance. Okay? I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Until next time. Bye.